Chris and Daniel have spent $100,000 on Lego. Wow. Their obsession is about to cost them a whole lot more. The couple's collection is too big for their three-storey, four-bedroom home, so they're buying a new one. There once was a house, home to a couple of brickheads. There's Chris. I love Lego. It allows me to be really super creative and it's, it's just so much fun. And there's Daniel. Oh, and I love Chris. <laughs> and they've got a room full of Lego. Got the Manchester United um, Stadium, We've got the Taj Mahal, Coliseum, a Lego piano, typewriter, typewriter, a Lego Nintendo. This house has it all: a pool, a basement bar, a lift, and these four walls to house approximately two million pieces of Lego. Everything is awesome. Yeah, how's good everything? It's crazy. And every single person who walks in this front door says, this house is amazing, why are you selling? <laughs> That's legit. Lego is the answer. When you have a growing Lego family like this one, you must expand. Don't have the space for the Lego. It sounds crazy. Um, I've completely filled a bedroom, uh, including hanging things from the roof. Um, it, also in my garage, I've got my Lego cars are down there as well, but I've got so much in storage that I can't build because I haven't got the space to display it. Chris Alday and partner Daniel Dawson have built themselves a Lego house, literally, in Newport, west of Melbourne. Instead of knocking it down, they've decided to buy a bigger one because when you pour about $100,000 into a hobby like Lego, you want to enjoy it. Even if you're taking a phone call from someone, I, that's where I end up wandering to, to have a chat on the phone, but you're actually checking out your own Lego. I'll admit I do the same thing. <laughs> I do occasionally wander in there and look around and go, oh wow, there's a Coliseum. <laughs> Chris started collecting bricks at seven years old. Now in her 40s, her haul just about has it all. They flash, they're famous, and they fill shelf upon shelf. Some are boxed up for safekeeping, and others are just along for the ride. But this is a collection worth selling up for. It's time to move to the next house, and that next house will have a lot bigger Lego room. <laughs> Their home has been a labour of love since 2008. They renovated all three levels and now this for better is on the market. It'll set you back a few million dollars. The Lego won't stay, but the shelves will, making way for Chris to design a brand new custom built Lego room in their new home. So probably at least twice the size of what I've got at the moment. What do you say to people at home that think you guys are mad? Uh, try it. Try building some Lego. Like, yeah, it's actually quite addictive. The great stress reliever of launching into a new Lego set has also become a bit of a tradition. Chris, the builder, and Daniel's job is... To dismantle the Legos. My role is post-Christmas to help pull it apart and sit there for hours and hours. The obsession has come at a cost to their relationship though, because certain sets aren't easy to find. The modular series is released on the 1st of January every year. <laughs> so to get them, you've actually got to be up at, on the 31st, on New Year's Eve, just after the clock ticks, and you've got to get online and order it straight away. So there's no kissing at midnight. <laughs> no, there's jumping online yeah. and ordering Lego. And ordering Lego, that's what we do. That's what they do, and they're doing it brick by brick and house by house. How are they going to move it all? I'm guessing bubble wrap, that is a lot of dismantling. All I can say is good luck, guys.